This is Manzi. It's a Prowler 50 power catamaran built in South Africa by Charter Cats SA. I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company, and this boat's available for sale. So this boat is priced well below market value. There's a few things on it that need to be repaired for some owners. Technically, the boat's in very good condition. I'm gonna point those items out to you so you're aware, and at the end, I'll give you a breakdown of what we're really looking at here and where the value is on this boat. Alright, on the Prowler 50, we've got some nice features here. Totally exposed anchor. The Windlass has been uh, updated. It's not concealed in a uh, locker, so it's very easy to access. Got a nice Bruce anchor here. Got some pads on the front. This is synthetic teak material. It's in good shape. Up forward, nice panoramic windows. Nice sexy slope to it. There's blinds that roll down from here to give you some sun protection or privacy in the salon. Full enclosure on the flybridge. Forward facing speakers. Just in the back there, you can see the Ray Marine satellite TV dome. It's a very nice television inside. I'll show that to you later. So on Manzi, recently there was a uh, sport fish that impacted the boat. There was uh, repairs done, but what hasn't been done is this railing here on the front. That's going to be left and that's part of what's reflected in the discounted price on the boat. All the fiberglass work's been done, so if you wanted to have uh, new mounts, put down here that's possible or if you want to do wire across uh, you'll see that the seat here on this side is, uh, is missing it's not available here's what it looked like uh, before you can choose how you want to upgrade the boat so on Manzi the windows up here forward are new there's no water leaks in the in the boat from any of the the windows but this window does have a crack in it and should be replaced at some point but I want you to note that there's no water leak on it. If you like to fish, this is a really great setup back here. You have an area where you can put rod holders. Uh, if you drop the dinghy off, you've got a nice opening here in the back. Uh, nice custom stainless steel davits. This dinghy has a 25 horsepower outboard on it, plenty of power. You've got a nice aft seating area. There's a little bit of storage in here wet bar with a sink. There's a sun awning that, that rolls down to protect this uh, this area from, from the sun. You got winches here to help raise the dinghy. Nice barbecue mount. This is a really great space and really adds to the boat and its livability, particularly at anchor or at the dock. Large aft cockpit area. You can see you've got seating here, seating there, a uh, bench seat here that's also a cooler. This table raises and lowers if you want to adjust it. It's lighting throughout this space. This leads up to the flybridge. Really nice, well equipped uh, helm and a huge space up there. This is a space that's been concealed. If you want to put an ice maker here or a fridge, uh, you definitely have the space there to do it. Up here, we'll go up to the flybridge. All right, so we're coming up to the flybridge. Lots of good handholds around here. Nice forward seating, full enclosure all around the front side. Back side's open. Got a wet bar here, table. I think you can sit probably eight people here, sits very comfortably. A fridge, nice sun lounger pads all the way across the back. Here you've got a solid radar arc. On the top, you've got your radar dome and your satellite TV dome, and also some antennas. Nice helm position, dual seating, Raymarine E120 chart plotter radar. Engines have 1900 hours on them, quite low for a 2006 boat. Autopilot control, VHF, dual throttles.
salon in the Prowler 50 has quite a home feel to it. Here, practically, you have a clothes washer, an additional fridge. If you walk through here, you have a very large galley, big four burner stove, a large propane oven. These are all household size appliances. Really large sink with a small basin and a dish drying rack here on the side. You got storage space around here, large dining area, so you can dine either on the flybridge, aft cockpit, or inside the boat. It's very versatile with a lot of living spaces. You got an ice maker here. And on this side, you have like either a food prep station or a bar, uh, depending on how you like to entertain. So we've got a little free fridge up here on the top. Um, almost a home size fridge and freezer, nice bar area, uh, selection for speakers and music here, once again more storage. So in the salon we have very nice leather upholstery, it's luxurious, it's cushiony, and it's in good condition. I don't see any cracks or damage on it. Here in the salon we have a large flat screen TV that's concealed in the ceiling. It's a nice place to put it. It's not obtrusive, it doesn't occupy a lot of space, it's not covering your windows. And if you're sitting here in the salon area, lounging or dining, you got a great view of the television. This is the cracked salon window we saw from the outside. It's tempered glass, and although it doesn't look great, uh, clearly it's not leaking. Here we've got a nice inside uh, nav station, VHF radio. This is the solar power control system here. You've got the generator here with, what do we have, 352 hours on it. These are your uh, tank levels. Inside chart plotter radar, this is linked to the one on the flybridge. We have a control here for the water maker. It's a control for the charging system. And then down here we have the control panel for the boat. So this is where you're going to switch between shore power, generator, 110 volt items here. This is all built to US uh, power specs. And then all 12 volt controls here. Two charging controls, air conditioning controls, and fuel gauge and transfer switches. So this Prowler 50 is a three cabin layout, very unique. Most of these were built in a four cabin. The whole starboard side is one owner's suite with a very large head and shower aft, a lot of storage space that I'll show you in a minute midship, then a nice large owner's cabin and berth, and then all the way forward, a walk-in closet in the owner's cabin that I'll show you in a minute when we walk through there with a load of cabinet space. This is the aft starboard head, and in this space is access to the engine compartment. There's a floor panel that comes up. And they've set it up with a workshop, so it's a place to store spare parts, um, a place to maybe work on items, and it's quite useful because it's right above the engine compartment, easy to access. Prowler 50s and the Prowler line were known for water leaks in the port lights. This particular boat has some evidence of previous leaking. All these hatches and port lights have been sealed. There's no existing leaks on them, but there's some evidence here in the veneer where it was previously. I think this is quite an easy uh, cosmetic repair and we talked to one of the local woodworkers here. They suggested replacing this with a, uh, with a new veneer and maybe not even doing the whole one, but putting like a trim here and a trim there and a veneer piece uh, there. The owner's selling the boat at a very low price. He's not getting involved in a lot of projects, but he's made the boat technically good. A 
lot of times people ask when they're buying a boat to go cruising on, where, we're, where are we going to store all of our personal items? This is one of the larger cabins on the boat. This is the starboard forward cabin. Obviously you can see there's a huge large berth here. It's nice natural light coming into the cabin. You can see there's cabinets here at the end of the berth. There's a drawer here. There's cabinets here, 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 and behind you. Back on the other side, and I'll show you in a minute, there's a bunch of cabinets there. In this space, it's almost like a, an additional closet. You have a door here, more storage here on the sides. And as you go forward, more storage here, and then uh, quite a deep storage locker all the way forward into the bow compartment. It's really plenty of storage uh, for an owner, and even for your guests in the guest cabins, there's a lot of cabinet space there. Once again, more storage space here, another locker here, locker here, here, down here, and another one behind me. It's a lot of space. All right, here we're on the port side of the boat. There's a ca guest cabin aft with a head and shower uh, midship. And then as we go forward, there's another quite a large uh, berth and then a head and shower all the way forward. I'll show you those here. Here we are in the port aft cabin. This is where the berth's located. This berth lifts up, this panel goes down, and that's access to the aft port engine. And then we have a large uh, shower and head area here. Once again, the boat's simply loaded with storage space. So as we're walking forward in the port companionway going up to the port forward cabin, you've got two cabinets here, another one down here. This opens up on this side. We've got another cabinet here, and as we go forward, I'll show you some more storage space. For a semi-custom boat, they've done a really nice job with the wiring. It's easily accessible. If you look here in this panel, you can see all the bus bars are easily identified. Wires are, uh, are marked and very easy to get to. You're not having to take the boat apart to get to it. You just simply open up a panel midship. I think that's quite useful for an owner-operator. nice beautifully finished in wood lots of storage once again we got some cabinets around here drawer there and then all the cabinet space I pointed out before Right, so that wraps up our tour on the Prowler 50. It's a 2006 boat located in Fort Lauderdale, listed by Staley Weidman at the Catamaran Company. That's me. Let me know if you have any questions. Boat's being sold as is. The owner's ready for a quick sale and has priced the boat very, very competitively.